Wow, it's time for another show full of tips and ideas from the sales growth leadership expert, Dean Akers. Known for his experience in hyper-growing companies and creating cultures for high-performance teams, here's Dean. Well, welcome to your Sales and Leadership Ninja Show. I'm your head ninja, Dean Akers, and every week I bring you a rant to stimulate your thinking in either the realms of leadership and or sales. Uh, today's show is, is uh, one we've talked about in the past. We've had pieces of it in the past, but I'm going to do a couple shows over the next couple weeks of selling with intent. And as I've always shared with you, I bring these shows based on what I run into. And over the last couple of weeks, I've really run into people that are, are trying to be successful in sales. They want to be successful in sales and they just, you know, they don't, they don't quite get it all together to, to be successful. Now they may be successful in their company's eyes, you know, hitting their quotas and stuff, but I'm talking about ninja selling where you make six to seven figures. <clears throat> I think one of the reasons selling with intent is a challenge uh, is because it's a discipline process. And because it's a discipline process, uh, it's much like working out, uh, dieting, and all that. It's great conversation, but a lot of people don't ever execute and consequently don't get the results. So I've been growing, hyper-growing my own company, sales and profits for years. And I also continue to help others do that with these philosophies that we're sharing again today. Um, selling with intent is a very, very, very fundamental sales strategy. Again, over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to share some of the, the techniques. Actually, I'm going to share the exact techniques that you can deploy to be mega successful when you understand the, the strategy of selling with intent. Today, we're going to talk about the first step, and this is a critical step, and, and it's one that when you really do it, you really get a kind of an eye opener because it really gives you the strategy on how to sell with intent. So the first step starts out with identifying the customer that could buy for you if they chose to buy from you. Then it's adopting the mental strategy and this is a, a huge thing because this is where, especially in B2B, is once you identify this customer or what the customer looks like and you go after the customers that look like your existing customer base, your next thing in intentional sales is adopting a mental strategy of not if I get the client, when I'm going to get the client, and it's a it's a it's a real uh, focused strategy that uh, that kicks off with this identification process, and um, so the identification stop starts with I call it establishing the DNA of the customer. Now I'm going to share two examples of this today. I'm going to share. Uh, example of B2B and then a retail example. When we go talking about today, we're going to talk more in the B2B space. But the first step is to identify the DNA of the customer you're going to want to sell to. Again, this is so critical and I can't believe the amount of companies that just kind of gloss over this, go with what they think it is and just really miss it. They, they really miss it and it's not even close. So I'm going to share two examples. The first one I'm going to share is a company that would sh sell into law firms. So we identified, the, and I say anybody, so when I ask them at first, I said, tell me what your client looks like. They go, oh, we could sell to anybody. I go, okay, great. Tell me, let's look at what your top 20 clients look like. Well, as we started dissecting this particular company and industry, their top clients were law firms, okay? So then we started taking that. We say, okay, so if they're law firms, what do they look like? And so we started, I got a list of law firms in the area they were, they were located. And we started going down that list. And that's going to be one of our other topics in the weeks coming up of how to work that. But as we went down that list of law firms and we profiled their law firm against that list, it was very clear that they had great customers with the law firms they have. And the other, most of the other law firms, they didn't even know anybody. They had never really called on them. They had done that, oh, we stopped by, but they weren't interested or they always do business and blah, 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 blah. So 
they had this unbelievable market if they just sold the law firms. They had not done the DNA. As we started doing the DNA, it became very apparent what kind of law firms, why their value was for those law firms, and then we mirrored it to the other law firms. And then when we mirrored it to the other law firms and said, not if we get them, but when we get them, what would our sales look like? It was enormous growth in the company. And oh, by the way, I said, when we get them, we get them with them wanting to do business with us, not by price and blah, 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 blah. And when we talked about their existing DNA, I asked them how many of those customers are buying with you strictly on price? Well, it comes out, none of them were buying by price. They were buying because of the relationship, the service, what we offered them and what they got from us. So again, it, it just disarms all this noise that people talk about for sure. So then we talked about how you do that. Well, you, you allocate, and this is the allocation I allocate for any customer I want, is 24 months to work them. That doesn't mean say, okay, 24 months starts today, and 24 months from now I go, oh, I didn't get them because I didn't do anything. No, it means a, a conscious strategy that we're gonna talk about in coming shows on how to work them through that 24 months. And this is really, really critical when you look at their value as related to their existing customers. Crazy how, how spot on this is. And when you get it, it gets scary. And when you get your team identified and teaching them how to sell with intent, you're, you will get hyper sales, hyper margins, and hyper results. So now I wanna really quickly, we're gonna talk more about B2B, but I wanna share a, 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 uh, another story. So another company I was CEO of, I went in and the founders were there and I said, tell me your demographics. And they told me the household income of their demographics was 75,000. And they told me it was 50, 50 male, female, and average age was 40. And um, you know the, the, the you know the, they had that high seventy five thousand dollar household income forty year old male female you know and they come from all over and I go what do you mean from all over we have people that come from California we got some customers that come from down south they just come from all over I went oh okay so I got a demographer and by the way there's demographers out there so this isn't some big deal you'll spend some money but when you look at the return it's like a gajillion dollar return on on getting your DNA uh, of the customer figured out so we got the customers they had I gave it to my de demographer well this will show you remember 75,000 household income come from all over average age 40 male female about even um, did we miss that? Uh, the demographer came back with all our existing clients. Here's how bad we missed it. Average age 32. Wow, big difference there. Average household income, $37,000. $37,000 versus 75,000. Huge miss. Average drive time to where we were, radius, 10 minutes. Not from all over. They literally were 10 minutes away. And male, female, eighty percent female. So we we were just, we were we were so wrong. It was crazy. Now I'd like to tell you that was an isolated. More times than not, I find like the law firm when I just shared this when I shared. More times than not, you know in the DNA of your customer, without formally really deep diving it, is a constant fail point in your strategy to hypergrow your company. With that data, by the way, I, we're not going to talk retail today, but with that data, we had been spending tons of money on marketing. So we opened up five more locations in our marketing MSA, and immediately they were successful because we had built the demand, but nobody was coming. So it was a huge difference, and we grew the company and had a big exit. So, But it was all started with the DNA of the customer. So with this data, you now know what your clients look like and with, this, and, and with the intent who you're going to have as clients. We have talked about the CV list and selling with intent. In the B2B space, having the CV list where you can identify them. In the retail space, you may not able, be able to identify them as easy because it's such a big market size. But in the B2B space, like the law firms, we were easily able to identify them. 
So we built out the CV list, which we're going to talk more about in the coming weeks. But with the CV list, it was very apparent who we didn't have and who we did have. And now we build out the 24-month strategy. And again, when selling with intent, it's not a matter of if they're going to buy. It's a matter of when they're going to buy. So when you get all this done, now you know exactly what your market share size should be based on your current customers. And then you really can go out and start establishing that, that strategy of not when the, you're going to get, or not if you're going to get a customer, but when you're going to get a customer. So today we talked about what? DNA. If you're a salesperson or you're in sales management or you're a, a CEO of your own company, take the time in the next week to really deep dive your DNA. If you need to find a demographer, a professional that does that, I'll be happy to help you. And you can reach out at dean at deanacres.com and I'll send you some people that you can contract with. Generally, you can find it pretty readily just with, with your existing customer space, especially in the B2B space. So I want you to tune in next week for the next step of intent selling. And I know that this process always works. And this has been my secret for 45 years of hyper growth and hyper sales and hyper profitability. It has never failed and it always works. The two operative word, never and always. So let's all get out there and start selling with intent. Again, thanks for tuning in every week. And remember to share if this helps you. My book, Self Talk, Think Like a Child is available on Amazon. And if you ever have a question, or you have a comment, or you need some help, just reach out at dean at deanacres.com. And I will always help anybody that reaches out. And I do appreciate all the people that do reach out. And I believe that I have helped them. So this week, let's practice closing your mouth, opening your ears, and doing your DNAs, and really making a difference by finding the customers and selling with intent so that you get into the mode of it's not if they're going to buy, but when they're going to buy. Have a great week. We hope you enjoyed this week's show. Subscribe today to our podcast and send questions or thoughts to help at deanacres.com. Also, visit us at www.deanacres.com to listen to prior shows and view helpful videos. Also, great tips to download. Thanks again. See you next week.